Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Just a quick video today, super quick, uh, on how to fit these LED tail lights for my 2018 Ford Ranger. It should just be plug and play, but we'll see. And I'll show you how to do some sequential indicator lights as well. Uh, stay tuned to the end, some super exciting news coming for the channel. But yeah, let's get to it. Right guys, so I've got the lights. Yeah, pressure washer. All right, so I've got the lights here and here. Passenger side, driver side. And what tools you need for this? T30 Torx. And I would suggest plastic trim removers or trim removers. Now, the reason I say this is plastic on cars, metal next door. I would just use these to pull them away. And then T30s, one here, and then one down there, and then that's it. Then the only thing holding it on is a, there should be some cable tied uh, wires to the loom to this connection here, and then it should be good from there. He says, Well, we'll see anyway. So, quick, easy guide. He says, So, just before we start, I'm just underneath the passenger side anyway. Um, so, if you look underneath, straight under. I mean, mine, I think mine's been played with before, but it is as simple as that. It's just a push, if you can do it with one hand. You push that in and, and pull it out. Oh, I'll have to put it down, but as you can see, that's the passenger side. I'll have a look over at the driver's side in a minute and uh, see where that one is. But yeah, it's just a simple case of unplug. So I'm going to unplug these first and then take the torques out from the top and see where we go. Yeah, like I said, guys, you just press in to this bit here and then this bit just pulls out, just like that. I've obviously done it because I needed two hands. And I can't get it out. And there you go. And that literally will go up and it should pull straight out. Okay, driver side the same. Look, there's a wiring loom that comes down straight into a plug and play connection. So I'm going to disconnect that. Right. right then, that's disconnected. And then I'm just going to this one's been done before, but I'm gonna do all these, undo these and pull it straight out. So I'll get straight up to the T30s. So as you've seen from the time-lapse, old ones are out, pretty simple. These two guides here, they basically slot into these two plastic bits here. And then I've just disconnected cable ties and then it is literally out. And it's same on the other side, I've disconnected the cable ties. Two guides go there and there. Emulated on the, the new ones as well, there and there. Disconnected and then just a case of fishing it out, just like that. Right, so next ones. Now a quick bet is I think before I plug them all in, well before I screw them all in, I think it's a good bet to plug them in, make sure they actually work. Yeah, because you don't want to then have to take them all out again. So yeah, let's get cracking. Well, Alright guys, as you've seen from the time lapse look, I've just plugged them in. This one's a UK right hand drive, so it's got a fog light, and then on this one's a reversing light. Um, I can't check that because I can't <laughs> put the car in reverse and run back I'm on my own. But everything else seems to work. I'll leave the plastic covers on. What I'll do is I'll get them into place while they're still on, make sure they still work, and then I'll show you what they look like when they're done. Guys, so another mod for today is I'm going to go from these stock ones with a, a incandescent, if you like, a normal bulb to these. Now these are sequential and they sweep. So I've taken this one off and I'm just going to plug this one in, but I'll show you how I take it off and how easy it is to get to. Right guys, so to remove this wing mirror cover, 
inside the back here, there's like a hole there and a, and a, a hole there. And what that lines up to is that there and that there. So the easiest way to sort of get it is to sort of push up with a screwdriver or two screwdrivers, trim panel tools, and then sort of push them together. And then basically this comes off like that way. I've taken it off already, but I mean, it was dead simple. You just it's slotted in there, you just pull it out and then you've got the bulb that slots in there. And then you lift this part out and it comes out with the whole bulb unit. Oh no, try and do it with one hand. There we go. Oh, dropped it, never mind. So that comes out, you pull the bulb out and then basically the new light fitting goes straight into that and then it just goes straight back in. So as you can see, I've just plugged it straight in and then it is literally a one for one. Just make sure the wires are tucked in. Line it up like so and then just clip it into place. So once it's clipped into place, it's just a case of relocating the cover, which goes in there and there. Them bits there. Bob's your uncle. Once it's sort of lined up, give it a quick. There you go, it's in. Happy days. Now, because that's black, it looks, sort of goes much more of the truck, but I think it just looks better. I'm not a fan of chrome or, you know, like white lights and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, I'll uh, flash it up and you can see it going. So there you go, guys. That's it uh, on. Now I think that just looks so much nicer. And because I've got the, darker wing mirror covers anyway it sort of all blends in a little bit nicer so yeah that looks pretty cool better than original and it's only a little mod um i'll leave the link down below and there's a, another guy online detailing on the beast he goes through a really good process on how to do this his video is really good to watch and i'll leave a link for that in the description as well right guys that's the tail lights fitted i think they look pretty cool um something different not everyone's cup of tea, but that's what I like about modifications. It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks as long as you like it. So that's great. The, the side lights as well, I think they're really cool. I think they just add that little touch, um, you know, that's just away from stock, which is, which is really nice. So the exciting news for the channel then, obviously we're coming out of lockdown now. The past year or so has been pretty rubbish. Uh, we've not put so many videos on the channel, but me and Sam are getting together very soon to do some reviews on some really really cool cars so stay tuned for that if there's anything you want to see any type of car that you've got please get in touch we're more than happy to come down showcase your car you might have to put up with us for a couple of you know hours but but that's fine we really enjoy it amazing stuff stay tuned like and subscribe all that jazz and we'll see you soon like really soon see you in a bit Ta -ra.